We're taking study guide page 196. What were the short-term and long-term effects of the Civil War? We'll start with re, uh, rebuilding the nation, uh, some of the short-term and long-term. As the Civil War ended, the nation faced enormous challenges. Uh, South Lane ruins, the homeless needed uh, food and shelter, and mainly the South and North and South felt hatred towards each other. Um, so there's a couple different people that came up with ideas of how to rebuild or reconstruct the South. First, we had Lincoln Plan, 10% Plan, as it was known. It was abolition of slavery by state governments, former Confederates with slave loyalty, uh, loyalty uh, and thus they were pardoned, and 10% state voter loyalty oath, and then the state would be remitted into the political process. The Radical Republicans had a different plan. This is through the kind of Wade Davis bill. Loyalty oath for 50% of states voters, uh, abolition of slavery by state governments as well, and Confederate volunteers barred from voting the holy office for a lifetime. And uh, first duty of the Freedmen's Bureau was to provide emergency relief to people displaced by the war. The battle over Reconstruction. After Lincoln was assassinated, you had Johnson came up with his plan, um, and he said that southern states had to ratify the 13th Amendment. Um, they, he offered amnesty to former Confederates if they ratified the 13th Amendment, and he allowed southern states to elect representatives to Congress. So there was not really a period of time where there would have been no representatives, uh, or no, the former Confederates would have been part of the Congress. Uh, Rattle re re uh, Republican goals, they wanted to prevent former Confederates from gaining control of Southern politics, and they wanted to protect freedom and guarantee them the right to vote. So you have Radical Reconstruction. The Reconstruction Act of 1867 imposed military rule on all Southern governments um, that did not ratify the 14th Amendment. When they ratified the 14th Amendment, military rule was uh, taken uh, off. During the Radical Reconstruction, African Americans played an important role in politics, and women were given property rights. Southern states opened public schools for the first time, um, and legislators would spread taxes more evenly and more fairly, and more fair voting rules overall. Uh, when Reconstruction ended, um, many called for local self-government and withdrawal of troops from the South. Um, the end of the Reconstruction was finalized with the election of Rutherford B. Hayes, and uh, as a result of this, Southern whites prevented African American voting with techniques such as poll tax and literacy tests, the grandfather clause. Um, however, the South economy ba began to recover through Reconstruction um, due to industries based on raw materials in the South.